Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am super excited about. I'm super excited to finally be filming a little bit again after I had my baby and I'm so excited about today's video which is going to be all about the Owlet camera. So this product I'm pretty sure is brand new for the Owlet brand. Um, they have the Smart Sock as most of you are aware. We bought the Smart Sock and the camera together um, but the camera didn't ship until a little bit later because they just started shipping them out uh, about mid-January. So we finally got the camera a few days ago. Uh, it sat in my mailbox actually for a couple days because I didn't even realize that it was being shipped. They didn't sh send me a shipping email. So I wanted to wait to unbox it that way I could film it for you guys and it would just be a little unboxing of the Owlet camera. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Amelia. I am a brand new first time mommy to a beautiful little boy. He's about seven weeks old now. I'm hoping in this video I am going to be able to show you guys my baby because I haven't done that yet. He's actually sleeping right now in the next room, so if he wakes up, I'm sure he'll wake up because I'm kind of talking a little loud. <laughs> but if he wakes up from his nap during this video, I'll grab him and I will have you guys see my little boy. But let's go ahead and just get started on the unboxing of the Owlet camera. So here's the box. I showed it a little earlier. It comes with the camera, a magnetic base, the power cable and a temperature sensor, power adapter, the Owlet app, and wall mounting kit and cable guards. So let's go ahead and just cut this bad boy open. Honestly, there's nothing like opening up something that is so tightly sealed. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Okay, so here is the box, this green box inside, or I guess it's kind of mint. It has the little owl on the front for the Owlet brand. And you open it up and the camera is right there in front and center. So my husband and I have actually been needing a baby monitor uh, because we don't have one yet. Our son is seven weeks old, like I mentioned earlier. Um, we keep him in our room and our house is kind of small anyway, so we don't really, we didn't really feel like we needed a baby monitor right away. We were looking at the Nanit brand. I don't know if you've heard of that one. It's um, wall mounted. This one can be wall mounted as well. So. It's kind of pricey, which is why we didn't buy something right away, and we wanted to be kind of sure with what we wanted before we bought it. And since the Nanit is stationary, our son's not gonna be in his nursery for quite a few months, so I found it to be kind of a waste of money to purchase that baby monitor if he wasn't gonna be using it for, or if we weren't gonna be using it for quite a few months. So I think this one, although you can mount it to the wall, I think you can actually put it anywhere as well, so at least hopefully. But we went ahead and we went with the Owlet brand, even though it's brand new, there are no reviews on it yet. Uh, we went ahead and went with this one because when sold with the Smart Sock, you can actually use an HSA, which is a health savings account. And we have a health savings account through my work, so I figured might as well buy the Smart Sock and the camera since I can use those funds for this purpose, which is super exciting because then I didn't have to spend, you know, a little bit of extra money out of pocket. It just came from the health savings account, which like I said, is provided by my work. So that's exciting. And that is one of the reasons why we went with this one. I'm hoping, I know that Outlet is great with their smart sock. So I am hoping that the camera is gonna be great as well. So let's go ahead and just take this guy out. There's a little tab right up here so that you can easily get to the camera. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty tiny, actually. Here's the size of my hand. My hands are pretty small. And here's the outlet. There is, I don't know if you can see it, but a tiny little microphone right here because it is two-way audio, so you'll be able to talk to your baby and you can hear your baby as well. So let's just set that aside and keep going with the unboxing. So after I pulled away that little plastic part, it's pretty nicely boxed in here. In the middle, it says, let's get started. And it's basically just telling you to download the Outlet app. And if you already have it, because you already have the smart sock, then you don't really need to do that. So right here is the power adapter. So we'll open that little guy up. It just looks like your any standard power adapter. It plugs into the wall and then it has the USB port right here. 
In the middle, it looks like we have the power cable with the temperature sensor. So you grab it out of the box, it looks like this. And you open it up with these two little tabs right here. And inside is the power adapter and the temperature sensor, as you can see right here. Next we have the wall mounting materials, which is up here, and the two cable guards, which are right here. So basically on the inside there is a screw so that you can screw it into the wall. And then you have some plastic parts for wall mounting. The cable guards I'm not going to take out just because there's so many pieces, but basically it's just more plastic pieces so that the cable on the wall can be covered and your baby can't get a hold of the cable while he or she is sleeping. Then at the very bottom is the user guide. Basically just taking you step by step of the camera. So it guides you through and it just says let's get started. Um, it says plug it in and follow the app instructions to pair the camera with your Owlet account. I already have that so I'll just have to um, kind of follow it step by step. You can choose the view so you can place it on a uh, so you can place it on a flat surface or you can mount it on the wall like I said. So if you place it on a flat surface, basically there's a magnetic base which is Basically, with the wall mounting kit, you have a single screw to screw into the wall. You have this mounting plate, which you can attach the camera to the mounting plate, and the plate attaches to the wall. There are cable guards, which are in separate boxes. I don't want to take those out because it's just a bunch of plastic pieces. Um, these are part of the cable guards as well. So if you are wanting to place your camera on a flat surface, you just use this magnetic plate. So the actual camera itself is magnetic and then the base is magnetic. So when you put them together, it can stand flat on a surface, which is really cool. And then you can just adjust it up and down and then side to side, just like so. If you don't want to use it on a flat surface, all you do is just take the magnetic base off and then you hook up the camera itself to the wall. And it comes with all of those pieces that you need to mount it. So it's really nice because, like I said earlier, you don't have to, it's not like you feel stuck, like you have to mount this to the wall and then not use it for a few months because your baby is sleeping in your room. So now I can take this, place it on my nightstand because his bassinet is pretty much right in front of my nightstand, and then I could look in on him that way as well. So that's really nice. I like that you can do that and you're not bound to wall mounting. So then the user guide just takes you step by step to mounting it to the wall. Um, basically just measure it, align it, fasten it, um, unwind the cable, thread the cable, mount the base, and attach the camera. So it seems pretty user friendly as far as needing to mount the camera. Um, right now we won't do that. I'll just set it on my nightstand like I said earlier and I'll be able to see my little guy. And I like that it pairs with the Smart Sock. I'm super excited to get these two hooked up together. We've been using the Smart Sock for maybe a week now, a week and a half or so. And I just, I love it so far. It's really nice to be able to check in on him, look at his heart rate, look at his oxygen levels, and just know that he is safe and sound in his bassinet where he sleeps. So, I will probably do an updated video and do a little review on this camera for you guys. Um, it's pretty much going to be all that I know because it's the only camera that we've used, but hopefully I'll be able to have a good idea on if it works great or if it doesn't work great, if there's any glitches in the camera or in the app, um, so to speak, and then I can let you guys know how we like it and if it's worth the money, whatnot, if you guys should get the smart sock and the camera, or if you should just get the camera, vice versa, I will hopefully be able to do a re review on that for you all. So baby is still sleeping. He hasn't been asleep for very long, so I'm gonna go ahead and just let him sleep a little longer. I don't wanna disturb him. I'll probably pop back on here. Hopefully it doesn't get dark before he wakes up and I can get back on here and I can show you my little guy because I'm so excited. I really want all of you guys to meet him. He's just the sweetest, cutest little thing ever and I'm just so excited. <laughs> so hopefully he wakes up. If he doesn't wake up, I'll go ahead and just end this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I know I don't do too many of those videos on my channel very often. If you did enjoy it though, let me know down in the comments and I will try and do unboxings for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so as you may be able to see, my little one finally woke up from his nap. Actually, I had to wake him up because he was getting over three hours before his last feed, so I wanted to make sure we got him a feeding, so <laughs> he looks a little grumpy, slightly milk drunk, but we just fed him and now he's just kind of out of it. <laughs> but this is Owen, my cute little boy. Oh, buddy. Huh. Currently, he has blue eyes, baby blue eyes, pretty much the same color as mine. And blonde-ish hair with maybe a tiny bit of a red tint to it. Um, he's seven weeks old. Huh, buddy. We see lots of smiles from him, which is always fun. We love interacting with him. And he just pooed, <laughs> so we'll have to go change his diaper really quick. But I just wanted you guys to finally see him. I know it's been a while since I've been around, and I just wanted to get this little guy on camera finally. So I hope to do his two-month update here maybe next week. His pediatrician, his two-month pediatrician appointment is next week, so I plan to do it after that appointment. That way I can up update you guys on all of his measurements. He's going to get his shots as well, and we'll just give you all of his updates. So I just wanted to do that super quick update and a little meet my baby, and I will get you guys that two-month update here shortly. And I'm going to go change this little guy's diaper. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Say bye, buddy. Say bye, buddy. Uh, bye. Uh, Say bye.